You've seen our next guest on PBS. He's a super scientist, and he's joining us right now with his new book series. And let me ask, does the alien beatbox? Oh, you bet he does. But the funny thing is, it's really high pitched when he beatboxes. So it's up here, and his voice is really high because he's so tiny. Hilarious. And I know you can beatbox, and you probably did it for your engagement. Congratulations on your marriage. But let's get back to the book. Tell us about the storyline. So it's an entire book series. And the series is about a fourth grader named Zach and his best buddy, Olivia, who lives next door. And one night, Zach's bedroom is invaded by a tiny four-inch tall alien named Amp. Now, Amp is a scout sent from a faraway planet to try to scout out Earth for takeover, but it turns out there's a huge miscalculation of scale, and humans are about 20 times bigger than expected. So in each book, Zach and Olivia and Amp have to kind of work on some project to either help keep Amp safe or try to get him launched safely back to his home planet so they can call off the impending attack of a whole bunch of tiny aliens, which clearly will not end well for anybody. <laughs> now, Nate, let me get this right. These are experiments that the readers do at home? Oh, yeah. So in the book, first, the kids will actually do the project as part of the storyline. And then in the back of the book, there are instructions for how to repeat the same experiment at home. So in book one, Blast Off, the kids try to launch his ship back into the air using a bottle rocket, which is the project that got me into science when I was a fourth grader myself. So in the back of the book, you'll find instructions on how to take a two-liter bottle, put some fins and a nose cone on it, and then pressurize it using a bike pump so you can launch it up to over 100 feet in the air. Nate, I'm curious, what kind of advice would you give to parents that have those curious young kids that might like to explore science? Don't be too afraid of them hurting themselves a little bit. I mean, you've got to cause a tiny bit of havoc to really dig into this stuff. And I'm really grateful for the kind of upbringing I had where my parents, it was kind of the extreme version, but when I was in high school, I, you know, I burned my kitchen with a rocket fuel experiment. And I'm not <laughs> suggesting parents at home rocket? go this far necessarily, but my parents were so supportive, they hardly uh, raised a voice when that happened, and they let me continue on with my experiments with more fire extinguishers, mind you. So <laughs> my suggestion to parents is... Um, you know, watch your kids, uh, but be generous with how much leeway you give them. Uh, it's really important for them to be able to experiment and learn a little bit on their own. So be there to help keep them safe, but don't dig in too close because they need to be able to make the mistakes themselves. Well, Nate, I love that advice. And tell us a little bit more about the book series you've started. Oh, there's all kinds of new books coming out. So book two, Zach has to build himself a science fair experiment. He's having a little trouble in science on his own, so he needs to get a good grade on the final. Now, when you've got an alien from another planet, the alien's usually bringing in some kind of special technology on his ship, because of course he's already undertaking interplanetary travel. So when Amp tries to help out Zach by giving a, lo a little bit of extra power to his electromagnet experiment, well, you can imagine what happens if you have a super, super, super high power electromagnet. Uh, you know, the building starts coming down during the science fair. Things get pretty exciting pretty fast. So all kinds of adventures cool. unfold in each story. I know a lot of kids are going to be excited not only to read it, but participate along with the series. Thanks so much for your creativity and passion for science. Thanks, Con. Thanks so much for having Thank me on. You. It's good to talk to you.